Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 351. Medium level problem with a low accuracy. So let's see what the problem is asking us to do. It says that ways to split arrays into good sub arrays, okay? So the problem statement says that you are given a binary array nums. Binary means you have only zero and ones, okay? A sub array of an array is good if it contains exactly one element with the value one, okay? Return an integer denoting the number of ways to split the array's nums into good subarrays. As the number may be too large, return it modulo 10 is to the power 9 plus 7. Okay. A subarray is a contiguous non-empty subsequence of elements within the array. Like this is your example, right? You have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. You have to split this into multiple subarrays such that every subarray has exactly a 1, right? Like this is one of the splits, right? You have 0, 1, 0, 1, and all these three elements are here. This also has a 1, this also has a 1. Similarly, 0, 1, 0, and then 0, 1, and this is the last configuration. So ultimately, the total number of ways in which you can split the arrays into, you know, good subarrays is basically uh, 3, right? Obviously, if the answer is large, you have to take model of it, 10 to the power 9 plus 7. What about this guy? Since you have only a 1, you cannot split it, and hence you return the original array itself, right? That is the only subarray that you can have, right? No, no other split possible, right? The number of elements that you can have is 10 to the power 5, and as I told you that you can just have two elements, right? So seeing the constraint we know that since it is a sub array i cannot write an n square time complexity algorithm right that is not possible it will time out what about the other options other option is you can sort it to make it to n log n but again what will happen if you sort it we have to deal with sub arrays sorting basically changes the elements uh, here and there right it it uh, basically reorders them so sub array concept is gone there the only option that i'm left with is probably a linear time algorithm so that I just traverse the array once and maybe do some mathematical things to, to find the actual answer, right? So let's see what happens. Suppose I take an example, I have an array like this. Suppose I have an array like this, okay? Now, this zero has only one option to be combined with this one, right? It doesn't have any other ones on the left hand side to be combined. So I cannot do anything else, right? Here also, this zero has only one option to be combined with this one, right? What about these zeros? These zeros have two options. Either they can be combined with this or combined with this. So what are the other options, right? I can place all the four zeros here. So four zeros go th goes with this subarray and zero number of zeros goes here. Or else I can give three zeros to this part and the remaining last zero here. What's the other options? I can give two zeros here and two zeros here. I can give just one zero here and three zeros here. Or I can give zero number of zeros here and all the four zeros here, right? Getting it? These are the only possible ways in which you can divide these zeros, right? Remember, you have to be uh, take, take the consecutive array numbers, right? That means you cannot take this zero and this zero and put it into this array. Oh, no, that's not possible, right? If you have to pick two zeros, you'll pick these two. Pick three zeros, pick, pick these three, okay? That also makes the problem very easy to solve, okay? So, for example, if between two consecutive ones, I have n number of zeros, so n plus one splits are there. n plus one splits is possible, right? n plus one division is possible. Now, let's take a better case, okay? Suppose I have something like this. Just a second, yep. Let me erase it. Now, let's take a, a better configuration, okay? One configuration, suppose I have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, something like this, okay? Now, again, these are three zeros between two consecutive ones. I have four options to split here, right? As I showed in the previous example, in two, how many zeros are there? between these two consecutive ones, it is four. So I'll have five options, right? Four plus one, five options. So total 20 ways are there in which I can split this array, right? Why? Because I have to perform this operation and this operation, right? It is not or, it is and. So that means whatever is the number of possibilities for this into the number of possibilities for this. That is the total number of possibilities, right? Basic permutation combination. Now, this zero is only one option. This zero is also one option. So that means you'll only consider the zeros which are between two ones. Okay, let's talk about edge cases. What happens if I, if I have only zeros in my array? Answer will be zero. You do not have any ones, right? So you cannot split it into valid arrays. What about this guy? You have just a single, single one. What happens? The only possible split here is a single array, right? You cannot do it. You can split it into multiple sub arrays, right? So I hope the logic is clear, right? You just have to consider the zeros between adjacent ones and we have seen why because other zeros have only a single option to be combined with their adjacent ones however the zeros between two ones have two options either to go with left one or right one okay 
लेट सी द कोर्ट राइट आंसर इज इक्वल टू जीरो करेंट जीरो बेसिकली कीप्स अ ट्रैक ऑफ वट इज द कंजिक्यूटिव नंबर ऑफ जीरोज आई सीन टिल नाउ वन काउंट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वन इन माई एरे द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स मॉड ओके स्टार्ट रिवर्सिंग इफ द करेंट नंबर इज जीरो इंक्रीमेंट द जीरो काउंट ओके एल्स इफ द करेंट नंबर इज वन इंक्रीमेंट द वन काउंट ओके नो इफ वन काउंट इक्वल्स टू वन दैट मीन्स इफ यू आर सींग द फर्स्ट वन इन यूर एरे फॉर एग्जाम्पल जीरो वन जीरो जीरो इफ यू आर हेयर सो वट विल हैपन यू विल इनिशियलाइज योर आंसर विथ वन वाई बिकॉज यू यू इनिशियलाइज योर आंसर विथ जीरो टू टेक केयर ऑफ केसेज लाइक दिस दीरो जीरो But you initialize your answer with one because in this case your answer will be one. And also, since you have to multiply the number of possibilities, you have to multiply it with one, right? If you multiply with zero, you will get zero as your answer. So you do this. Else, if this is not the first one that you are seeing, all you need to do is answer is equals to answer into current zeros, the consecutive zeros that you have seen till now plus one. Multiply it, take the mod. And also, since you have seen a one, you know again reset the value of current zero. Simple. You do this, okay? And finally, all you need to do is you need to typecast the answer into an integer and just return it, okay? That's what I need to do. Again, you can do it using integer as well, but again, there is a chance of overflow because this number can be in range ten raised to power nine. This number can be in range suppose ten raised to power three also. You multiply it, you it goes ten raised to power twelve. Either you typecast it here or you directly make it long. Both will work, okay? I've just taken it long to avoid some typecasting things here, okay? So yeah that's it for this solution I hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any queries related to the solution mention that in the comment section I'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye